Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Laura from Fountaindale Library. I have another fractured fable for you today. Now, a fable is a story with a point to it, and we've fractured it by making it kind of a funny little pup joke. So, without further ado, here is the lion and the mouse. It is a lovely sunny day in the jungle, and some little mice are playing while a big lion is sleeping in the shade. Well, look at that lion asleep in the shade. I'm gonna go tickle him. I'm not afraid. And the little mouse jumps on the lion's nose. Whoa! Oh, the lion wakes up with a roar. Roar! What is that tickle I feel on my snout? Oh, why look, it's a little mouse that is running about. And he puts his big paw right on his tail and opens up his mouth. He's ready to eat him. Oh no. Squeak, squeak. Oh, lion, oh lion, I'm very sorry. Please don't eat me. Well. Okay, I'm a kind lion. You can go and play with your friends. Oh, thank you, thank you. Perhaps one day I can help you. I don't think a little mouse can help a big lion. I mean, you help a lion? You tiny wee thing? What in the world could you do for this jungle king? Well, if you don't eat me and let me go free, someday I'm gonna help you. Just you wait. Just you wait. Wait a minute. Is your name Hamilton by chance? Well, 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 whatever. So the next day, the little mouse is walking in the jungle and he hears a strange cry. Help me! Help me! And you know what? The lion had gone hunting and now he was in trouble. He walked right into this big net. Oh dear. And he was caught. Help me! Help me! I am trapped from my tail to my snout! Caught in a net and I can't get out! Oh, I will help you! What? How can you help me? You are only a little mouse! Don't you remember what I said before? Don't worry, dear lion. Never lose hope. You'll soon be set free when I chew through this rope. And so he started to nibble. Nibble, 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 nibble. And then and the mouse gnawed and gnawed. That means that he's chewing. And he gnaws and he gnaws some more and suddenly the rope breaks and the lion suddenly is free. Why, thank you, little mouse. You are a good friend. Yes, little friends can be great friends. Indeed. Yes, indeed. And you know what the point of the story is, my friends? Strength is fine, but please recall. Kindness matters most of all. The end. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And that, my friends, is the story of the lion and the mouse. Please stay tuned because we're going to do <clears throat> a little mouse game. Okay, friends, we are gonna do a little game called Mouse in the House. And the way we're gonna do this game is we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you some sign language signs to do the little rhyme that we're gonna say over and over again while we're guessing which house that the mouse is hiding in, okay? So here's how the rhyme goes. Mouse in the house, so first let's learn mouse. Take your pointer finger and just go like that over your nose. That's mouse, the sign for mouse. House. You take your finger, your hands together like this, and then come down and go down like that. That's house. So mouse in the house, mouse in the house, where, this is how you say where, where you just wag your pointer finger. Where is the mouse in the house? Okay, that's our little rhyme. So then we're gonna guess which house, which colored house the mouse is hiding in. So let's start with, let's start with the brown house, okay? 
How you do the color brown in sign language is you put four fingers up just like that, right? tuck in your thumb, and you're going to take that hand shape and you're just going to go down your cheek with it. That's the color brown, okay? So let's start our rhyme. Mouse in the house, mouse in the house. Where is the mouse in the house? Is it in the brown house? Let's find out. Nope, it's not hiding in the brown house. Let's guess the yellow house, okay? This is how you do yellow. You put all five fingers up and then put the middle three fingers down. So just your pinky and your thumb are there and then you shake that hand sign, okay? So, mouse in the house, mouse in the house. Where is the mouse in the house? Is it in the yellow house? Let's find out. Nope, not in the yellow house. Hmm, shall we get, well, what color do you guys wanna guess? Do you like the color orange? Let's try orange next. So this is how you do the sign for orange. You just squeeze your fist underneath your chin. I don't know what that sign is from, but that's the sign for orange, okay? So here we go. Mouse in the house, mouse in the house. Where is the mouse in the house? Is it in the orange house? Let's find out. Not in the orange house. Hmm. Let's, let's guess the red house, okay? So you take um, your pointer finger again and go over your lips like that. That's the sign for red, like red lips. So here we go. Mouse in the house, mouse in the house. Where is the mouse in the house? Is it in the red house? Let's find out. Are you hiding in there, mouse? Nope, not hiding in the house, in the red house. Now blue is my favorite color, so let's, let's guess blue next. So blue is exactly like the sign for brown. You put four fingers up like that, tuck in your thumb, only this time you just shake it out in front of you. So here's how it goes. Mouse in the house, mouse in the house. Where is the mouse in the house? Is it hiding in the blue house? Let's find out. Oh, it's not behind the blue house. Hmm, that only leaves one more house. What color is that house? That color is white, so that's right. So here's how you do the sign for white. You just pull from your shirt like that with your whole hand. Pull it out just like that. That's white. So our last rhyme. Mouse in the house, mouse in the house. Where is the mouse? in the house. Is it in the white house? Let's see. There's the mouse. He was hiding in the white house. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that game. See you later. Here's another jungle story. This is called monkey business. Why? Hello. I'm going out a walk in the jungle. I hope I don't see an elephant on my walk. I'm scared of elephants, indeed. Wait. What was that? What was that? Oh, I hope it wasn't an elephant. Ah, ah! Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. I was only scared because I thought you were an elephant. I'm, I'm kind of scared of elephants. Why are you scared of elephants? Have you ever met an elephant? Nope. Nope. I haven't met an elephant. I don't even know what an elephant looks like. I know what an elephant looks like. Elephants are very, very big. Oh no. But as long as you don't make them angry, elephants are very gentle and kind. And elephants, you know what? They have two big teeth called tusks. Big teeth? Those are better to eat me with.
Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Elephants don't eat monkeys. Elephants eat plants. And they have big ears that they wave back and forth like a fan to keep cool. Hmm. I wish I could wave my ears like fans. Mine are a little bit too small, I guess. And the one thing that you absolutely must know about elephants is that they have really unusual noses. They have unusual noses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their noses are very, very long. And when an elephant wants to, he can use his nose to make a sound like a trumpet. Like this. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. I think I like elephants. See, elephants aren't so scary. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go find a banana now. See you later. Bye. Woo! Bye. Thanks for teaching me about elephants. You know, elephants may be big, but they're gentle and they eat plants. And they have funny ears that they use to keep cool. And they have noses that sound like trumpets. You know what? Elephants aren't scary at all. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh, someone's coming. Oh no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, oh no, it's an elephant! Ah! Wait. Was that a monkey? I'm scared of monkeys. Get me out of here. The end. Now, I would like to teach you guys how to say elephant um, using American Sign Language. Here's how you do it. Can you guys make a little fist like this? Look at your hand, it looks a little bit like the letter E, small letter E. Okay, you're gonna put that right at your nose and you're gonna go down and up like that, just like a big long elephant's nose. That's how you say elephant in sign language.